Hey, 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 hey! Greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs. So today we're going to be looking at this guy. This is G.I. Joe Classified Bat. This is the um, bat. It's one of the Cobra robots. And before we take a crack open it and take a look, just like to tell you the usual YouTube things you can do. You can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. It helps out my channel, does the algorithms, a world of good and all that. But other than that, yeah, crack on. We're going to just get this open. Now, when this classified series was first announced... There was a few figures that I just really wanted them to get to. And the bat was one of them. This is one of the, my favourite figures. As a child, I lost most of his accessories and everything. I lost the figure probably eventually. But I just always wanted a, a new bat figure. And here we have it. It's got some great artwork on the sides and stuff as they have been doing they've really you know been knocking it out of the park with some of this packaging for the gi joe classified series so yeah so the bat dreadnoughts all of them croc master already already you know confirmed um big boa boxer guy uh, Sci-Fi, G.I. Joe's, Dusty, he's been confirmed recently. And to be honest with you, that's, that's, that's me kind of sated for G.I. Joe classified. And, you know, I'll be good. Oh, obviously, it'll come in later with this little nerd, Raptor. We want him as well. Um, well, this is the bat. Out of the box. Great. Is that classified stance again? It feels a little larger. I don't know. Love aesthetics, yeah. I just always love that head sculpt. Everything like that. Um obviously it's detailed and painted the chest. The original toy, it was a hologram. And, you know, part of me is like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's cool that it's got this, you know, detail and stuff and all painted out. And the other half, and part of me is like, oh, I don't like the option to have a hologram. Oh. I've just bought one of these, by the way. I know there's a lot of people who are eye building them. Fair play to you, but I just wanted me one back. Me wombat. I want to be wombat. Get a sport. Um, and I'll be happy. I'm just happy we won. So yeah, this is the blacks and the yellow, the yellow orange. Really, you know, pops out. And he's got that, you know, got a decent butterfly going on. Bicep. The uh, double jointed elbow. It's very mechanical on this guy. Uh, hinge at the wrist there. This guy's got a, uh, a hinge at the chest. I think most of the others have had wibbly wobbly ball joints. He's got a Turn at the waist as well. Ooh. Got a nice holster strapped to him. Got the drop down on the leg, as he have been doing. So, you know, and a double joint here at the knee, still a bit stiff. Feels like, you know, I just want to get this guy warmed up a bit before I play with him fully. Twist the and a nice joint here. The ankle, that's all that's all you can ask for. Apart from a boatload of accessories. Which he has. So we have some options. And this stuff out of the way here. 
There's the blaster. Another blaster, maybe it's some kind of or like liquid shooter. And a dreaded claw. It doesn't have any unfortunately no articulation on there. He's got a pistol for into his hand. And he's got his accessory backpack. So, yeah, first and foremost, let's see. You can probably fit all these accessories into holes back here. Down here. And that, the hole in the back there, I seal the paint around it. And that sits nicely on his back. Some of the other people's backpacks don't seem to sit that nicely, but that, that's like fitting quite coolly on there. He also has a couple of chest plates. So if he doesn't want all these um, robotic doodads on display, and who would, you know, you can get this metal plate and click it on there so that covers that up nicely. Ah, we don't like it covered up. It does have some alternatives here as well as the rockers show them slightly wrecked chest armor. So that's quite cool. It's got a big dent in it, it's got a slash in it. I'd like some maybe bigger hole. Maybe that was if that bit was an in, rather than a dent, if that was an entire hole. So you could actually see the gubbins underneath the um, armor a bit more, that'd be cool. And it does come with a alternate <laughs> damaged head but, uh, from a ball joint. This should, in theory, pop off quite easily. But you know, I've been. at the moment we're gonna wait until we've got that heated up but that's the head there it's got this cool little robot eye on the exposed it's pretty cool it'd be nice just an accessory for any of your Joes so presume that we just replace them at the hand so we can remove the hands and then I don't know how he does this himself you know take his take one out of his backpack then take his hand off then replace his hand um, seems a bit Bit of effort, really, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, so look, yeah, he's got this flame on here, which is cool. And he can either hold, he's got a he's got trigger hands so he can hold his, his gun. Get that into place. I can miss getting the finger in the trigger hole 
every time. All right, there you go. Yeah, so you can hold that. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Or you can have it holstered. Yeah. Get ready. Getting ready for battle there. So yeah, 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 he's a nice cool figure. Here he is next to a classic a classic a War for Cybertron Siege Cybertronian mode. Side no he's not he's not he's not Cybertron. This is Kingdom Earth mode side swipe. Oh, oh, how can I mistake the differences there? Um, and that villain, the hood. So yeah, so he towers over the hood. I'm going to suspect he's going to be quite tall for a classified figure. It'd be very nice if I'd brought some of them down here to uh, compare him with. That would have been uh, a lot of foresight on my part. But no, we can we, we can compare him to the classic. G.I. Joe scale with that accountant of bird crime, Raptor. Yeah. <laughs> so let me get an idea how big he is. Uh, next to the barista, Fisto himself, uh, from the Master of the Universe toy line. There he is. So all in all, I am... Um, I'm well pleased that they've got to the bat, and he looks really impressive. Really does. Um, can't wait to see photos of all these people who have army built them, like the hordes of them, charging into combat pictures and stuff like that. It's going to look great. But for now, I am happy with just my one. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're into GI Joe stuff, and you know you're you an old school GI Joe person, or for any of the iterations, you know because there's still a few characters like from the more modern stuff that I'd like to see, like the, the uh, modern Snake Eyes, um, Helix as well, and you know characters like that I'd like to see. But yeah, tell me. What G.I. Joe characters have they not done yet in Classified that you would like to see? Um, I mean, I'd like to see Action Forces quarrel, but, you know, that's probably far, far away. But, yeah, let me know. Until then, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And because you deserve it, let's bump fish, shall we? Fisto! Fisto!